It is not uncommon for advanced military weaponry to be associated with major powers like the United States or Europe, but the truth is that Israel is responsible for one of the most effective tank series ever created. The Merkava tank series has now reached its fifth version and represents some of the most advanced developments in armored vehicles worldwide. General Israel Tal, known as the father of the Merkava tank, was adamant that the main feature needed for this new tank was protection. Protection has always been the highest priority in Merkava's development, even when other features were rejected. Before we proceed, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on other interesting video updates from us. Before 1970, Israel typically relied on imported tanks from other countries like the United States and Britain. When Britain developed the Chieftain tank, Israel collaborated on the design of the vehicle with the intention of purchasing it for use in their armed forces. However, this plan was abandoned in favor of building an in-house armored vehicle that could handle the challenging terrain in Israel including the rocky terrain of the Golan Heights and the soft sand of the Sinai Desert. The first Merkava used the Continental AVDS 1790-6A diesel engine, producing 988 horsepower. Weighing 60 tons, this tank was slow, but protection was the top priority, not mobility. Ammunition for the 105mm gun was stored in a special container that could carry for rounds. The gun was loaded through the rear hole. This tank could carry up to 62 rounds of various types of ammunition, including APFSDS, heat, H-frag, and smoke rounds. The first Merkava was used in the 1982 Lebanon War, but by then, the Mark I had already been developed for service. Mark II was introduced seven years later in 1989. Mark II introduced the concept of modular protection, allowing the protection to adapt quickly to evolving threats. The tank eventually replaced its gun with a 120mm version produced by the Israeli manufacturer, IMI. The upgraded 253mm gun could fire the latest types of ammunition, including APDS Sabo rounds. Mark III proved to be so effective that the IDF decided to replace the Centurion and M6S tanks in the exclusive Merkava fleet. This new iteration had the latest improvements, including removable modular protection and additional fire control enhancements with the addition of the Elbit Knight Mark V battle management system. Other improvements included additional protection in vulnerable areas such as the turret roof and belly, with a V-shaped design to handle mines and divert explosions more effectively. Currently, the IDF has further upgraded its flagship tank, the Mark V, also known as Barrack. It is the most technologically advanced Merkava to date integrating the latest technology and innovation in protection and digital combat capabilities. The Merkava features a 1,500 horsepower V12 diesel engine combined with an automatic transmission with five forward gears and two reverse gears, resulting in a maximum road speed of 64 km per hour and a maximum cruising range of 500 km. This means the initial need for protection is still present, but with some compromise on firepower. The biggest argument is the use of smart technology and the integration of the Active Protection System Trophy, designed to counter the most advanced anti-tank missiles, rocket-propelled grenades, anti-tank rockets, and high-explosive anti-tank projectiles. It took five decades to produce one of the world's most advanced tanks, born out of Israel's need for their own combat vehicles suitable for their own terrain. What are your thoughts on the Merkava? Let us know in the comments section below. 
Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on other interesting military and technology development videos.